we're gathered here with our congregation to witness the exchange of trivia. I am your past, I am your present, and I'm your future. Please be my victim. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I don't have a hook. <laughs> I, I don't I don't appear like after you say my name five times, so that would be weird. I'm pretty busy right now watching a lot of horror movies. And I might have made a mistake picking the goat of the horror trivia division. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure it's going to be fun. John is a great dude. I'm a decent dude. <laughs> I try to be. And that's, that's how fun. Uh, and it's yeah, spooky, spooky stuff too. Ooh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first Gold Rush event. I am your host, Turner Chambliss, and tonight we have a Movie Trivia Challenge Horror Championship match as the champion, John Marr, takes on the number one contender and last stand gauntlet winner, Eric Marino. Guys, let's get into the introductions for this match right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a five-round match for the Movie Trivia Challenge Horror Division Championship. Introducing first, he is the challenger, Eric Moreno. How's it going, guys? Uh, my Chihuahua is uh, <laughs> crying for affection here. Uh, so I'm down here, but now I'm up. Let's see. She's content with that. <laughs> but I'm excited to be here. Pretty nervous, but I got my stress relieving tea. I have watched my horror movies, and I'm ready to go. All right, man. I'll explain to you how random one works. It is a speed run. 60 seconds on the clock to answer eight questions. Four from your strengths, four from John's strengths. You have unlimited skips, so if you don't know an answer, you can pass it. And if we have time at the end of all eight questions, we'll come back to all the questions you skip. You cannot use your extension or your challenges in this round. We will come back in round number two. Do you understand? Yep. All right. If you're ready for this championship match, we kick off with question number one, which is... Which story in VHS 99 was directed by Vanessa and Joseph Winter? Uh, to Helen Beck. Who plays Corey Cunningham in Halloween Ends? Uh, pass. What does Y stand for in 2012's ABCs of Death? Mm, pass. Sam Raimi directed what 2000 horror film starring Kate Blanchett? Uh, the Game. Who plays uh, Creighton Duke in Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday? Oh, pass. What year saw the release of Hellraiser Inferno and Hollow Man? Um, 1993. In Pearl, Howard serves in what war? Uh, the First World War. Who plays Vince Snyder in Scream 2022? Uh, Kyle. Uh, pass. Who plays Corey Cunningham in Halloween Ends? Uh, what's his name? Uh, no, pass. What does Y stand for in ABCs of Death 12, or 2012's ABCs of Death? Y. Ah, uh, shit. Forgot. That is press. All right, that is the end of your time. Oh, so we'll take you on and bring in the champion when we come back. Everybody, champs back. Listen, uh, you know, we had that Garland match. Eric won that Garland match, and you know, he had the decision did he want to face Jeremy or did he want to face me? And he picked me. So I, I, I'm not sure how to feel about that. You got to imagine when someone picks somebody, they're picking them because they think it's going to be an easier path. So I, I'm going to take that personally. So come get your ass kicking. Let's go. And his opponent. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed movie trivia challenge, horror division champion of the world, John Marr. What's up, man? Doing good, Hunter. How's it going? I'm doing hey. fantastic, champ. Got to show my shirt. There we go. There you go. Got to wear my uh, my CM Punk shirt. That's in the world. <laughs> when, he, when he wrestles. When he wrestles, Yeah. And doesn't talk. All right, man. Round number one works like this is a speed round. So he's saying it's on the clock to answer eight questions. Four from your strengths. Four from Eric's strengths. You cannot use your extension or your challenges in this round. They will come back in round number two. If you don't know an answer, you can pass it. And if we have time to end all the questions, we'll come back to all the questions you skipped. Do you understand? Yes. All right. If you're ready, we'll start with the very first question, which is, which story in VHS 99 was directed by Vanessa and Joseph Winter? Um, what's it called? What's it called? To Helen Beck. 
who plays Corey Cunningham in Halloween Ends? Uh, Rowan Campbell. What does Y stand for in 2012's ABCs of Death? Youngblood. Sam Raimi directed what 2000s horror movie starring Kate Blanchett? Uh, the Gift. Who plays Critton Duke in J.C. Goes to Hell the Final Friday? What is his name? Stephen Williams. What year saw the release of Hellraiser Inferno and Hollow Man? 2000, 2000. In Pearl, Howard serves in what war? World War One. Who plays Vince Snyder in Scream 2022? Kyle Gunler. All right, that is the end of all your questions. So we will bring back Eric. It's young buck, not young boy. When we come back. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, here are the questions and the answers right now. Which story in VHS 99 was directed by Vanessa and Joseph Winter? To hell and back. Who plays Corey Cunningham in Halloween Ends? Rowan Campbell. What does Y stand for in 2012's ABC's of Death? Young Buck. Young buck. Sam That's Raimi so. directed what 2000 horror movie starring Kate Blanchett? The Gift. Who plays Crichton Duke in Jason Goes to Hell the Final Friday? Stephen Williams. What year saw the release of Hellraiser and Friday and Hollow Man 2000? In Pearl, Howard serves in what war? World War I. And who plays Vince Snyder in Scream 2022? Kyle Garner. All right, at the end of round number one, we have John and Lee with seven, Eric behind with three, going into round number two, which works like this is the franchise round. Four total questions from worth two points apiece. There is no multiple choice in this round, and if you miss, your opponent can steal. Do you guys understand? Yep. Yep. All right, so since Eric is behind, we will start with him with his first question. Are you ready? Uh, sure. All right, in the category of Candyman. 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 Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Be my victim. Oh. <laughs> All right. Your first question is, in 2021's Candyman, what is the real name of the man with a hook for a hand that the cops kill at the beginning of the film? Uh, Sherman Fields. That is correct for two points. Oh, thank God I was... <laughs> Sheldon? No, not Sheldon. Your second question, Candyman Farewell to the Flesh opens up three years after the event of the first movie as an, and is set in what U.S. city? It opens up. Uh, can you repeat the question? I, I, I missed her. Yeah. Candyman Farewell to the Flesh opens up three years after the event of the first movie and is set uh, in what U.S. city? Uh, New Orleans. That is correct. Two points. Yeah, I, I'm confused after and before. And I, no, that doesn't make sense. Uh, it's just my Spanish mind mixing it up. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Question three. In 1992's Candyman, what is the name of the little boy that Helen meets outside of Cabrina Green's? Uh, Jake. That is correct. Two points. And your final question. What is the name of Anthony's art piece in 2021's Candyman? Say my name. That is correct. Two points. I needed right. that. I really needed that. <laughs> it's 7 to 11. John, are you ready for your first question? Yep. <clears throat> in the category of the VHS franchise, your first question. In the 2012 VHS segment, Second Honeymoon, what is the name of the attraction that Sam and Stephanie go on on their honeymoon? Go to on their honeymoon. I'm sorry. The name of the attraction they go to? Um... Yes. Five, four, three, two. Wild West Gulch. That is incorrect. Chance for a two point steal, Eric. That's weird. That attraction. I don't know. The Grand Canyon? <laughs> I don't know if you meant that. That is incorrect. The correct yeah. answer is Wild West Junction. Oh, so close. Ah, so yeah. close, John. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. They were close, yeah. Yeah. Your yeah, second I question. I don't really like that short. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> it's pretty bad. In the VHS 2 segment, A Ride in the Park, what is the name of Mike's girlfriend at the beginning of the film? We're just looking for the first name. We don't need last. I don't know. Just... 
I don't remember her having a name. Oh my god, this is crazy. I can't believe this is happening right now. I mean, I have I have looked it up in, in the at the actual scene, so okay, just to be sure. I have no idea. These are I shouldn't have picked this quite a category. Anne. That is incorrect. Chance for two points still, Eric. Uh, I don't know, Jenny. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Amy. Ah, it was again an A name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I was thinking Annie. That sounded familiar. Yeah, uh, but he said Anne and Anna. All right, your third question. Joe Swanberg directed a segment in 2012's VHS named what? The sick thing that happened to Emily when she was younger. That is correct for two points. Good job. Yeah. And your final question. In the VHS 94 segment Storm Drain, the segment opens up with a news report, a news reporter filming a story about a local legend named what? Ratma? That is incorrect. Chance for two points still, Eric. He said uh, the Ratman? That is correct for two points. Uh, that's the actual name of the of the creature, Ratma, but the Ratman is the way they trace it in the in the news report. I don't know if I should challenge that or not. Because uh, he is named he's named Ratma. But like the question means. was uh, like how, no, no, you can ask the question again. No, you can challenge if you want that. I mean, yeah, it's up to you, John. Either I mean, way. I would, I would challenge under the, under the, the, the terms that, like, that is his name. Yeah, that's his actual, yeah. but that's the name they, they gave him, Dre. But that's okay, not so the let name me, in the, and all the graffiti, the graffiti says Ratma and stuff in the, in the news story. But when they ask the, the people, they, they say the, the Ratman. They don't say uh, like in the, yeah, in, I, in the news report. I did tell you in the question, uh, the segment opens up with a news reporter filming a story mm -hmm. about a local legend named what? Mm -hmm. The local legend. Is named the Rat Man. The, the, then... Yeah, the, the the question is the name of the local local legend. Okay, it's a, it's a good challenge. That, like, uh, well, yeah, I, I, I yeah, would still just say that that is his name. Like that, that's his name. But it's the name of the local legend, so it's, it's kind of kind of iffy. I mean, to be fair, if I did say like the the real name of the legend, then maybe. Mm -hmm. But because I said the news report gave him mm -hmm. and did a yeah, story on the, the local legend. Yeah, let's, okay. like, what's the name of the creature in the segment? It would be like, ah, yes, it's, it's Ratma. Yeah, that's fine. But I'm, I'm just, I need the points. <laughs> but <it> was... <laughs> I this point, I need the, I need those points. That's why I'm saying, like, yeah. it, it, it's, it, it's, it's in the story. Like, it's yeah. it, the, all the graffiti they walk past says Ratma and stuff too. Like, mm -hmm. they, it's he's called yeah. Ratman and Ratma during the story. I can, let's see, I could give you a new question. In 94, since it is a weirdly worded question, I will say. That would if that's fair. Yeah. If that's fair to both of you guys. Sure. All right. um, sure. Uh, not really sure, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem. All right. Your fourth question. In the VHS 94 segment Storm Drain, a brief infomercial plays for a product named what? The Veggie Basher. That is correct for two points. It's in a dead there. No, and no, the no. Veggie Masher, I think, comes back in VHS 99. So make sure you watch VHS. Yeah. Masher it's in a dead The Veggie Smasher? <laughs> Masher. Not to be pedantic. No, no, but <laughs> another challenge. But, like, I don't know. All right. It is tied 11 11 after round number two. Going in to round number three, which is the gain one, lose one round. There is four questions. Both competitors will write down their answer on a whiteboard. They get it right, they gain one point, they miss it, they lose one point. Do you guys understand? Yep. Yep. All right, we'll start with the first question in the category of the 1990s. Your question is, who plays the science teacher, Mr. Furlong, in the faculty? Five, four, three, two, one. Eric. 
No, I said Robert Englund, but I'm missing it up with Urban Legend. That is incorrect, John. John Stewart. That is correct for one point. Need to see that. <laughs> All right, your second question in the category of movie release dates. The question is, what year saw the release of The Haunting in Connecticut and The House of the Devil? Two uh, satanic uh, devil type movies came out in the same year. And yeah, we didn't die. Are <laughs> Five. Are you the Grammys? No, no. Three. It's kidding. Two. <laughs> Topic one. Of Pin this down, John. 2009. That is correct for one point, Eric. Oh, yeah, 2009. That is correct. All right. Your next question in the category of the 2010s. What 2010 horror film stars Sean Ashmore and Emma Bell? So the, the actual release here is, is 2010, not 2010s. Five, four, three, two, one. Eric. I don't know. I said frozen. That is correct for one point, no. <laughs> John. Frozen. That is correct. Well, yeah, go for Iceman. <laughs> <The X-Men>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And your it's final fun. question in the category of the 2020s. The question is, in Nope, what is the name of the horse that reacts badly when seeing his own reflection, resulting in OJ getting fired? I got it. Just saw it again. <laughs> I love that. I love Nope. It's so yeah. Funny. I really like Nope. Yeah. I really love Jaws, so I really like Nope too. <laughs> yeah, dude. Jordan Peele right now is three for three for me. Yeah. Same. I'm gonna do a repeat. All right, John using his first repeat. In the category of the 2020s. In Nope, what is the name of the horse that reacts badly when seeing his own reflection, resulting in OJ getting fired? I'm good. All right, John. Lucky? That is correct for one point, Eric. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> that is correct. All right, at the end of round number four, we have John only with 15, but Eric right behind with 13 going into round number four, which is our deep cut round. We have a two-pointer, a three-pointer, and a five-pointer in three different categories. Both competitors will write down their answer. To get it right, they gain that amount of points. You guys understand? Yes. All right, we start with a two-pointer in the category of slashers. Who plays Tom Hanniger? In 2009's My Bloody Valentine. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down, Eric. I don't know. I said Jensen Ackles. That is correct for one point, oh. John. I don't know. I said Jensen Ackles. <laughs> 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 I actually didn't know, but I, I, I'm pretty sure a supernatural guy isn't that. It's yeah. one or the other. <laughs> All right, 17-15 going into the three-pointer, which is in the category of everyone's favorite, the kill count. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the kill uh, count. Yeah. All right, in the category of the kill count, your three-pointer. Which movie in the I Know What You Did Last Summer franchise has the most kills according to the kill count? This is a very close match so far. Thank God. It started poorly. I'm going to have <laughs> a point less or a point more depending on the rewatch. <laughs> I'm not even sure what I answered, but I I did recover. <laughs> Five, four. Do you need the full name or do, do you need the two? Uh, the full name, please. One. Uh, repeat the question. <laughs> All right. What movie in the I Know What You Did Last Summer franchise has the most kills according to the kill count? Yes. Five, sure. <laughs> four, three, two, one. John. Really hope it's not the crappy third one. I still know what you did last summer. That is correct for three points. 
Uh, yeah, I'll set that. <laughs> I still know what you did last summer. That is correct. Uh, uh, maybe the third. If the answer was I'll always know, like that's just not fair. I've only seen it. <laughs> <laughs> <Nope. laughs> yeah. Nobody saw that movie. Yeah. All right. I, I definitely saw it, but I'm not going to watch it again. <laughs> Your five pointer in the category of Scream. In Scream 2022, what three movies appear in an old photo of a theater on Randy's memorial theater photo? Yeah. Well, that's a fine pipe one here. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to lie. I wrote these questions when I was studying for this movie, so these are coming in very good handy. I'll give you guys a little extra time because it is three movies. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I mean that. It is 20 to 18 right now, if, if I did my math correct. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Five. I don't think anybody's getting four. this one. That's fine. Three. Nah. <laughs> one. Pins down Eric. I don't know. So the Howling, Halloween, and the Fox. That is incorrect. John. Yeah. I hope there was like a Jamie Lee Curtis marathon. I put Halloween, the Fog, and Terror Train. That is incorrect. Yeah. Guys, it is all Wes Craven pictures. It's The, oh, uh, the Hills sense. Have Eyes, The Last House on the Left, and A Nightmare on Elm Street. That makes sense. Yeah, the Wes Craven in, tribute. Yeah. In honor of the Wes Craven tribute. Yep. Yeah. And I also went with the Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> 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 because, because of the, 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 the movies he references in the first screen. In the first yeah. screen. Yeah. Yeah, All right, so at the end of round number four, John is in lead with 20. Eric is right behind with 18. Anything can happen going into the new round three format, and it works like this. Round five. Plot summary round. Each competitor ha has given me two franchises or uh, decades based on a list I provided. I will then put one random category or decade into a wheel and spin it uh with no respins it will be a two-pointer a three-pointer and a five-pointer and i will give you guys the plot summary and the plot summaries are going to work like this a two-pointer is going to be a popular movie with context the three-pointer will be a less context but still guessable and the five-pointer is a lesser known movie all right are we and, both answering the same questions or are we getting our own questions no your own questions okay yeah, like the all old right. round. Yep, so Eric is behind, so in order to pass it back to John, we need to spin. Are you ready? Yep. Your spin is in. Whatever it lands on, you must take. Shit, that red is so bright. Yeah. <laughs> 2010s. For two points, <clears throat> here is your plot summary. I just need the movie. A masked serial killer turns a horror-themed amusement park into his own personal playground, terrorizing a group of friends while the rest of the Patreons believe that it's all part of the show. Oh, shit. I forgot. I'm going to kick myself because it sounds familiar. Five, four. I don't know. It's terrifier, but it's not terrifier. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Hellfest. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hellfest. I didn't see it, but okay. <laughs> All right. In order to pass back and take the lead, Eric, are you ready for your three point spin? Yep. It lands on Slashers. For three points. And your three point in the category of slashers is a former summer camp caretaker, horribly burned from a prank gone wrong, lurks around an upstate New York summer camp bent on killing the teenagers responsible for his disfigurement. Hmm. I don't know. Is Sleepaway Camp 2? That is no, incorrect. The correct answer is The Burning. Oh, 
the word burn was in the is in the summer. Yeah, no, I never heard of that. <laughs> Didn't sound familiar. The burning. Yeah. All right, so Eric has to hit this, or yeah. John will retain the championship. Are you ready for your five point spin? Not really, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> your spin is in, and it lands on Stephen King. You have okay. two extensions remaining. Mm -hmm. Your five-pointer in the category of Stephen King is in a very old, old textile mill with a serious rat infestation, deadly accidents start happening, but the corrupt foreman continues to put his workers in danger until they discover a horrifying secret deep in the basement. <clears throat> You have two extensions as well. Mm -hmm. Five, four. Uh, repeat the question. All right. Five pointer in the category of Stephen King. <clears throat> in a very old textile mill. With a serious rat infestation, deadly accidents start happening, but the corrupt foreman continues to put his workers in danger until they discover a horrifying secret deep in the basement. You have one more remaining. Five. Four. Question. All right, using your last one. In the category of Stephen King. In a very old textile mill with a serious rat infestation, deadly accidents start happening, but the corrupt foreman continues to put his workers in danger until they discover a horrifying secret deep in the basement. <clears throat> Five, four, three. I really don't know. Uh, uh, what's the name? The, the tall grass. <laughs> Congrats. And your winner. And still, movie trivia challenge horror ah. champion of the world, John Marr. The correct answer is graveyard oh, shift. shift. Yeah. Huh. Graveyard shift. Final score, 20 to 18. What a hell of a championship match. John, congratulations. How are you feeling, man? Thanks, Hunter. You know, I was I, I was not expecting uh, Eric to come in that well prepared. He did great. Uh, I was going to be, like, mean, but he did too, He did so good, I'm not even going to be mean. I think he's right up there. Uh, I think he'll be back. I think he'll probably be a contender going forward. Um, so I'm going to be nice and say it's a good game. That was a great game. I really wish I got to answer some plot synopsis questions. My only complaint is I really wanted to answer some questions. I did know all of all of Eric's, but I was really hyped for this. Uh, that's about it. Thank you for having me, Hunter. Uh, just so you know, Why We Love Horror is coming back on the video store. Every Tuesday night, we'll be discussing movies. I'll be over there. You'll find me there. Hell yeah, man. So I do have a question for you. Yeah. So going into, into round two, you had the advantage, and yeah. then you heard those VHS questions. Do you think that maybe going with something as obscure as VHS maybe kind of bit you on the ass a little bit? or? Well, my, my reasoning was I've been doing Friday the 13th for like a year, right? Yeah. And then you, you, you threw that hockey question at me last time. And I'm like, Hunter's got to be running out of questions. So I need to switch it up. So I mean, VHS, I don't know. I wasn't expecting those questions to be that hard. I thought maybe it would be like, you know, who directed this, who played this. And like, I know all the data. Uh, but yeah, those, those um, small little plot points, like, that I was not expecting questions that deep, but you know, it kept it close. It made it interesting. The fact that those questions were out there. So I don't know if I'll pick it again, but um, <laughs> I'm definitely not picking scream. I know that that'd be silly, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it. All right. That has been your winner and champion. John Marby right back with a runner up Eric Marino. You came in guns a blazing only a two point game. How are you feeling, man? 
I mean, it's not really a two-point game if you lose by TKO, but sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, though, so. Well, that's what it says, yeah. Uh, so I really, I was really nervous going into the match. So I, I did poor. I, I did. I knew all the information that you asked in the first round, and I might have a point extra or a point less depending on when I watch this. I'm not gonna because I lost. I don't watch. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I don't really watch the, the matches I, I win. I don't really watch the matches I lost. <laughs> so. So yeah. that's fine, but uh, I'm really glad I got I got to make it even with the with the Candyman. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, just watch that those movies. But then uh, I'm really sad I didn't get to make John answer at least a, a question in in the third round. That those three movies really I, I really didn't know them. So at least it wasn't something that I did know. <laughs> so that uh, I just wanted to make it. I just wanted to make it to the fifth round, and that's I'm happy with that. <laughs> Exactly. I'm not man. as nice with myself as John is with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so going into round number five, were you feeling confident that you kept it kept it close enough to where you might be able to pass it back to John? With and, and with how the new round format is, it literally could have gone either way. I mean, I I, I did study a little, but uh, all the like health is at least sounded familiar, but I. I if I haven't seen it, even if I studied it and I checked it in, in, a, in a database, I'm not going to remember. So it's just a question of uh, really, really preparing myself because I really prepare myself with the, with the Candyman questions and the VHS. And more, it's more of like, uh, I really studied for the round one, but uh, my mindset uh, didn't <laughs> prepare for the, the questions really. And mm-hmm. then round two, and then I, uh, it's going to be random in three and, and four. And in the fifth, I checked it up and I knew what I knew, but the, the stuff I knew didn't came up. So confident, no, I was 50-50 with that round. And clearly it was the other half of 50 when, when the, the questions that came up. Yeah. Um, we will definitely love to have you back, man. You're definitely a, a huge contender in the horror division. That's been your runner-up, Eric Marino. We'll be right back. Guys, what a way to start off Gold Rush with a great horror championship match, 20 to 18. If you guys did enjoy this match, hit the like button, subscribe to the network down below. Uh-huh. See you guys watching. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.